Tiffany Allen here from QuickTag. Today I'm going to cover intelligent AP automation for both Dynamics GP and D365 Business Central. Let's get into it. We're going to go through the AP automation benefits that you can expect when integrating an AP automation solution directly to your Dynamics ERP. We will dive into product just a bit with our Simply AP solution that is built exclusively for D365 BC. But if you're on GP, no worries. We've got a quick payable solution to help you with automation. Just visit us in the virtual booth later today, and we're happy to walk through it. Lastly, we'll wrap things up with an uber successful uh, uh, customer story that equated to over $100,000 in savings to their bottom line when leveraging AP automation. So in terms of the benefits, let's start with fastest time to solution. Our solutions are built in the cloud and are highly configurable to ensure that you can be up and running rapid time. For Business Central, you can be up in as little as three hours. That's right, three hours in processing invoices. Dynamics GP, it's just a tad bit longer, still cloud-borne solution, and you can expect to be up and running in about two to three weeks. We do leverage a smarter, integrated artificial intelligence that allows us to extract your data, all of the data off the invoice, header, footer, and PO lines. Obviously, that's going to reduce data entry requirements, um, the introduction of errors, and even fraud. And we definitely do it in a smarter fashion when we bounce over here to the seamless integration to Dynamics. When we mean seamless, we're always validating that information directly back to your ERP application. I'll give you a little peek into that here. This is our end-to-end -end process for invoice automation, and this is all-inclusive. So you don't have to have a separate module for document capture, se separate modular solution for your artificial intelligence on the data extraction, and you don't have to buy modules for purchase order versus non-purchase order. This is all-inclusive, all-encompassing, and it's simply configurable based on your requirements. We obviously are going to ingest your invoices real time as we pull those invoices in. Again, we grab everything off the invoice. So company information, vendor information, purchase order information. And as we do that, that's where you've got this fork in the road. On the purchase order side, we pull extract the PO information and we match that back to what is in the ERP, what was on the original purchase order, as well as what is on the receipt. And in BC, if we see a match, we have straight through processing. So if it matches within maybe 2%, doesn't exceed $50, we'll automatically create that transaction in Business Central for you. However, if it's not a match, or you have a non-PO invoice, as you can imagine, you certainly can leverage a configurable workflow to ensure all the right, all the right eyes are on that invoice before the final approval is made. When that approval is made, same scenario, scenario automatic creation of the transaction in your, in your ERP application, no export or import, seamless, real time. So that definitely covered really the automation of processes that you can expect with an AP automation solution. But coming back to really advantages with QuickTag is the affordability component. Um, we've really reduced our costs based on the technology that we're able to leverage, artificial intelligence, cloud-based, um, and we extend unlimited users to all of our organizations. Anybody that needs to review and approve is going to have the opportunity to. And we also base solely on invoice usage, what that invoice volume looks like. Lastly is ease of use. And we truly have a very intuitive user interface. No better way than to show it to you, right? So we'll dive into that Simply AP demonstration for D365 Business Central. Well, before we actually get into Simply AP, let's get some invoices in there. I mentioned it's as easy as um, you know, setting up a forward on your email inbox so you can get those invoices in. I have a big five purchase order invoice and a non-PO invoice. I'll go ahead and forward those into the system. Now here I am in Simply AP, our AP automation solution. You'll see here if I go to date received right here, nothing's come in for today, June 1. That's the day of our recording here. Last invoice came in on 530. So we're going to see those two invoices that we emailed in in less than 60 seconds. 
So let's cover a couple things before they come in. First and foremost, in this grid, you see a ton of data. This was all extracted leveraging our OCR solution. You've got vendor. We know if it's a PO or a non-PO, the invoice totals. All of this is already populated, ready for AP or whoever is gonna be doing that first initial step in the coding process. Additionally, you can search for invoices and it'll just filter them right down. You can see the various statuses that may be associated to them. We also have an advanced search that is connected real time to Business Central. You can select the company you wanna search within, the vendor and a myriad of other um, options here in terms of statuses, dates, times, and amounts. All right, let's go ahead and refresh. My guess is we've got a new invoice in the system and we certainly do, 6-1. One voice, one invoice is in. This is our interiors invoice, non-PO. Let's get to processing because we've got some abbreviated time today. First and foremost, what you're gonna see here is the digital version of the invoice on the right. And on the left-hand side, you're seeing all of the data that was extracted and matched to Business Central. I'm gonna go ahead and claim it so we can start to interact with the invoice. You'll notice there's some color coding going on. First. Anything that's in yellow is saying that we have a medium capture confidence rating. Maybe the letting was super tight and we couldn't discern specifically a number an eight versus a zero, or there's multiple vendor IDs for interiors. Anything that's green is a high confidence rating. So you know we've got that right for you. In this instance, there's no red specific to fields, but I do have a call out in red here, $492. We know that we do need to code that. We know that $492.80 was extracted off the invoice and we need to do the coding. I'm gonna minimize the digital version of the invoice so we can do the coding. But what's fantastic here is we leverage an intelligent uh, intelligent coding here that actually is going to populate how you coded this invoice the last time. So it's really just streamlining the process for your AP team so they don't have to do any searching, which they certainly can um, at the account level. So we'll go ahead and split this invoice across two, two different GLs for operating expense, as well as office supplies. So 400 to one and 92.80 to the other. I can't type today. Boom, my apologies. So here we go. Now there's zero difference between the coded amount and uh, what we extracted off the invoice. So what we have left to do here, because it's a non-PO invoice, is simply route it for review and approval. I'm gonna go ahead and select myself. You wouldn't do that in reality. And I'll just leave a little note. Please review as I am at Aspire. Make that comment, and I'm gonna go ahead and submit this for review and approval. You will get an email notification, but again, we've got just a short time here. You'll notice I do have a new status in my queue of pending. I can deselect these different toggles up here. So if I remove new, I see the one invoice pending in my queue for review and approval. What you'll note here is again, digital version of the invoice for the reviewer to see. Um, but also they have all the details in terms of the accounts dimensions if they were leveraging that were fully integrated there, as well as the comments that were left um, previously. I'm going to say okay. Whoop. I'm going to say okay to pay. Submit that comment and let's get it approved. With that, it was a rel relatively low dollar value. There's no further review that's required, but again, configurable based on dollar amount, maybe a final AP review for your team as well. So you've got your options in terms of workflow. Now, that other invoice didn't come through, but hopefully you remember, we've got straight through processing. So let's bounce into Business Central now. In Business Central, I'm obviously navigating to the Purchase Invoices page. I'm going to resort to um, see the newest invoices. This should be ours, Interiors 1259. As I click in, I'm going to see the details, right? 
Um, the only data entry I did across these two GLs was calculating it was $400 to the operating versus $92 to the office supplies account. So that's all been populated pull through. Only data entry I did was the amounts specific to each distribution. Now, I can certainly go back and view that approved invoice. In the fact box within BC, you'll see simply AP. It, I simply hit view. And that populates for me the created now status, created an ERP um, invoice here for interiors. You'll notice it's all grayed out because it's been created in the ERP. It is locked down at this stage. Again, I can minimize that uh, digital view. I can see all of the history. What I wanna highlight here is that we sent this invoice in at 6.53 PM. We emailed it together. At 6.53 PM, it was actually assigned to AP. At 6.54, I claimed it. 6.56, I did all that coding. 6.57, I approved it. And at 6.57, here it is in Business Central for you. So again, we presented this um, to AP in less than 60 seconds for a rapid fire review and approval. Now, we have that second invoice, that big five purchase invoice as well. So let's pop back into Business Central. The second invoice in here that we have is 12.58 for big five. Now, how do we know it was the invoice that I emailed in? We're, we're going to verify that. Don't worry. You'll notice that in this uh, in this actual purchase invoice, obviously, all the details are populated, including those line items. We had 10 different, um, whoop, I'm trying to scroll down a bit here. We had 10 tweeter speakers. We have 10 loudspeakers, 10 Middleton speakers. So let's verify exactly how this transaction made it into Simply AP or made it into Business Central. I'll navigate to the fact box, simply AP to view the transaction. It takes me back to that specific transaction. You don't need to search for it. You obviously can leverage search, but here I'm now seeing for the first time, the digital version of that big five invoice, 10 tweeter speakers, 10 loudspeakers, and 10 Middleton speakers. You can see here in the invoice section, we extracted all of those specifics directly off the invoice. But you'll also notice in the PO section, we're pulling forward that match that there were 10 different tweeters, 10 loudspeakers, 10 Middletons. We're also validating those receipts. So our application saw that this was a match to the original PO and receipts. So we auto created the transaction. And that's what you can highlight and see in the history. In this example, at 6.53, we received the document. Additionally, at 6.53, we approved it because we saw that the invoice matched the original PO and those receipts. And at 6.54, it was actually created directly in BC for you. So again, the power of the solution is allowing us to automate and eliminate numerous steps. And you, in this case, are actually having an auto-created invoice in less than 60 seconds of receipt of invoice. Conversely, on a non-PO invoice or one that doesn't match, we're still rendering that for your AP team to actually be able to start reviewing the invoice, coding it as needed in less than 60 seconds as well. We'll wrap things up today highlighting a customer success story that represents over $100,000 in savings. That's American software. Um, it's a fantastic story. They definitely had been looking at AP automation solutions for quite some time. As COVID hit, they pulled the trigger. They knew that they needed to improve the visibility um, for their AP and finance team. They were definitely challenged with leveraging Excel spreadsheets and email to um, get obtain invoice approval. And with that, they were seeing a tremendous amount of errors in coding and also late fees that they were paying. There was another initiative within the organization as well, which was to really go paperless. Um, they're very environmentally savvy and conscious, and they wanted to remove all the printers from their organization. Lastly, um, this is uh, American Software is a technology company out of the Midwest that's been growing um, greatly over the last few years, acquiring other organizations. So they needed to ensure that as they onboarded those new companies that they truly had a streamlined AP process. They leveraged uh, QuickTag and uh, they've never looked back. So that $100,000 in saving is really equated around how many steps they were able to eliminate from their process. They removed 90% of, of those steps. So think about that, right? 
They had Excel spreadsheets. They had paper invoices. Um, they had inner office mail. Um, they had a tremendously complex process. And as we've just shown you a snapshot today, you truly can eliminate, you know, so many of those um, cumbersome steps that are obviously, you know, riddled with data errors because 90% reduction in steps really leads to a drastic improvement in the invoice processing time, 80 to 90% improvement um, across both PO and non-PO invoices. And what that did for their team was it allowed them to repurpose um, an AP resource into another group within the organization. Um, she had some, you know, some lofty goals uh, and career aspirations, and she felt great about moving on to another department, knowing that the AP department, um, you know, had automation available to them. They additionally were awarded an operational excellence award for all of the innovation that the finance team put into place um, with the AP automation solution in full integration back to Dynamics. But in terms of their cost savings with the elimination of steps, processes, printers, redeploying a, you know, a key resource on their team to another department, it equates to over $100,000 in savings. That can be the case for you as well. We appreciate your time today. If you've got questions, definitely visit our virtual booth. We also uh, will enter you in a drawing for our $100 Amazon gift card. So stop by and see us. Thank you.